like give them coats and like give them clothes and like pass out food and all sorts of good things that people need to survive. But what we really want to do is get everybody in the home. We don't want any homeless people in Arlington or DC or anywhere. Right now, can you guess how many homeless people there are probably in Arlington right now? How many do you think? It's a little bit more than 100. It's a little bit less than 1,000. What do we think? One more guess. It's less than 30,000. Thank goodness. It's about how many people are in the room right now. but about 500. So that means if we all help, there's a chance that we can really find people homes. And I want you to be able to help me. It's all about telling people that we care. And I know everybody here cares, because you're here to walk. A bunch of you have serves. We're going to get more registrations. We're all going to walk and scream today. But sometimes we got to take that message out and tell everybody. So with the help of some teachers here today, I'm going to tell you, teach you a story that you can share with other people to show how much you care. It's going to sound a lot like a story you've heard before. Has anybody here ever heard the story of the three little pigs? But that story was created 600 years ago. Very, very different time. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense anymore. So I'm going to change it a little bit. Okay? Does anybody put that over here? Uh, do you remember the story of the three little pigs? Yeah! What, what did the first little pig build a house out of? Oh. Oh. What did he build the second house out of? Yeah. And the third house out of? Yeah. All right, good. We remember that. That's good. All right. Now, where, where are my helpers? I need some, I need some helpers. My teacher helpers. My teacher helpers. Okay. Now, they don't know the story like I tell, but they're going to act it out based on what I said. So, let's give them a big hand for coming up here. Alright. So, how does the story of the three little pigs start? mother told them one day that she was out of money and couldn't take care of them anymore, so they had to leave their home and build a future and lives for themselves. That's how the story starts, and that's what happened. to look for jobs and homes together. Start walking. <laughs> They're walking to the city to find jobs and homes together. Now when they got there, they had a hard time finding a place. So they split up and decided they were all going to do it separately. So the first little pig opened up the newspaper one day and started looking for jobs. <laughs> but was told everywhere, that there weren't any jobs. So she couldn't find a place to sleep. She couldn't find a place indoors. So she went around and tried to find a place where she could stay warm in out of the cold. Now, in the original story, the first house was made out of straw. It's stuff you can pick up on the ground. And if you're in the city, if she's picking up stuff that's on the ground, Sometimes you find cardboard or stuff. You see people on the street sometimes. <laughs> there are no big bad wolves in Arlington. But, does anybody remember the hurricane this summer? and puffed and blew down all the homes 
homes of people who didn't have much. And so the first little pig was homeless. We forget that. He didn't have a home. So the pig was homeless. The second little pig was able to find a little bit of a job selling newspapers on the street. Now, it's a job, and you can get money for it. But it's not a whole lot. So she's working hard every day trying to make money, but it's not much. So she couldn't find a place to live, so she tried to do what she could. And so we see some people sometimes on the street, they've got things that almost look like houses. They've got stuff on the street, they set up and whatnot, but it's still not a house. Looks like a house, but it's not a house. Well, if you remember, we had an earthquake this summer also. There are some people we know that live on the street. And when the earthquake came, it shook, and it shook, and it knocked their homes apart. Because even though it looks like a house, it's not safe and nice like a house. So the second little pig was homeless again. The third little pig was very, very lucky. She got a job. And then she had money. And so she was able to get an apartment and move in someplace safe. And so through the snow and the heat and everything, they're nice and safe. So remember, the first little pig and the second little pig in the story, once their homes are gone, they go up to the third little pig, and they knock on the door, and they say, can we come in? It's really cold outside. Will you let us in? Yeah. And what does the third little pig say? Yeah. Yes! No. <laughs> and so the three little pigs lived inside together and safe through the snowstorms and the hailstorms and snowmageddon and heat waves and all the big bad weather that affects people who live on the streets. And when the things got better, they were able to find jobs and get money and get their own places. What they found is they had to work together. They had to help each other. Now the first, the, the first story of the three little pigs always says that the first little pig built a house out of straw because he was lazy. I don't think he was lazy. He didn't have any money. He didn't have a job. He couldn't get a nice big house. So I don't think the story was told right. So if you tell the story of the three little pigs, here's the way I want you to tell it. I think that people who don't have as much as others aren't lazy. I think what we should tell people is you should always be nice, and you can't judge people by where they sleep at night. Sometimes bad things happen. We can't find jobs, we can't find homes. There's really bad weather that knocks down our homes, but they're working and they're trying real hard. So a really big important point to remember is we care about everybody in our community, and if we have the chance to help people, saying yes is really awesome. permission slip, sent home. We still have one more week. If you want to help us out, tell your parents to please fill this out and send it back. Because if we get everybody in the school to help, we can help a lot more people. We have a really big goal. We want to end homelessness for everybody in Arlington. And so to do that, we really got to be out of helping every single day. So it's about time for our walk. Ms. Runko's going to take over, but I want to say thank you.